your personal excellences in uncertain times. I am here with my co-host Keith. Keith, what's up, big dog? Just over here being excellent, bro. I hear that. Just over here right. being excellent. <laughs> <laughs> This, you know, this is a great topic because I always, I always get asked, what should I do? How should I prepare? How can I handle uncertain times? And guys, the last two years, there's not been more uncertainty. You know, there's been more uncertainty than any other point I can remember in my life. That's just point blank facts with the pandemic, the shutdown. Now with the trials and all the crazy stuff going on and World War III on the precipice of breaking out. Uh, so why? Why does it matter being personally excellent? Well, a lot of different reasons. One, you're controlling the only controllables that you have. Okay? And by having that type of input on your mind, your body, uh, your, your, your faith, okay, you're making progress and daily steps forward, which is so important, especially in uncertain times. Two, you never know who else, who else is struggling out there, okay? You taking care of your stuff, handling your business, you're setting an example for everybody else, you're setting an example for your team, your family, your kids, your partner, your friends. I can't think of a better reason why, why uh, to do it, right? Lead by example. Keith, what are some of the what are some of these points that you think? Uh, well, I mean, I'm just, uh, you know, there's only two things that you have in this world. And it's, it's your word and your last name, right? And I've said this shit before. And it's, you got to lead, you got to do what you say you're going to do when you're going to do it, right? <laughs> and, and be the example because there's no other alternative than you being a shithead. Mm -hmm. That's it. You either lead by an example or be who you say you're going to be or you're a shit bag. Full of excuses, negativity, hate, all the dumb shit. Right. And so I think, you know, the, the, the like my my world is like even in these hard times where whether it's an outside issue causing a hard time or it's my own bullshit. Right. My own mentality getting in the way. You either fucking suck it up and be the example and lean forward and do the right thing, or you fall behind and get left. Yeah. There's really no happy medium other than you living as a, a fraud, right? And a liar. Who the hell wants to do that? So, you know, that's my thing. I think that was beat into me early in the military. I right? was like, yeah. there's no option but to do the best you can do. Because those guys weren't certainly weren't going to let you just quit. <laughs> like, Coast. okay, you can. You can go home, sure. Yeah. Um, you, you know, the, uh, there's a bell. You can ring a bell, uh, yeah. but you know, there's only uh, those are for the for the weak, the soft, and they shouldn't be in that position anyway. But that uh, this has always been a thing to me, like just be an example. And the other component to that is you being an example lifts the people up around you, All right? So especially if you're in leadership role, right, or if you own a business, you know. That attracts other people, which then attracts other people to do the same shit, which then creates a better environment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, that, that's where I say that that's highly important. One, you got to be who you are. And two, if you are that example, then, then you rally the troops. Yeah. Let, let me tell you a little story about, about that. So I, ever since 75 Hard has come out, I've done it. I've gone through that and phase one every single year. I don't always do the lift hard, but maybe I'll do 75 hard twice okay, in the year. And I was doing that for me. I wasn't doing that for other people. I do it for me to push myself. And it correlates to my highest earning periods today. Okay. If I'm on the program, I am earning way more in that 75 days. All right. So one, I can personally track it to earnings Two. Biggest thing I got out of the 75 hard wasn't the earnings, wasn't the body, the mentality, the, the mental strength I got out of it was amazing. However, my favorite part of it is now seeing that my kids, without being prompted, will work out in the morning before they do everything else that they have to do. And they do their chores. This happened because they started watching when I was doing 75 hard. I was getting up at 5 a.m. and I was doing my outdoor work. My kids just wanted to hang out with dad 
And so they started doing it. And guess what else happened? I had people on my team do it. Yeah. So now I have a healthier and more fit family. I have a healthier and more fit and more productive team. And this has happened every time I've gone through it. All right. So think about the impact you can have by leading other people through example. All right. And then the other part of this is, guys, if you are mentally strong in uncertain times, which guess what? If you are or you have personal excellence, that means you're keeping your mind right, your body right, your faith right, your family right. You are going to have more confidence and more ability to deal with the ups and downs. Okay. You're going to be more mentally fit, mentally strong, and it's going to help you handle the stress and up. That leads to you making better decisions for your family, your business, and everybody involved. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. Well, I guess I'm kind of right. Like, have you ever been inspired by someone who's lazy and doesn't fucking do what they say they're going to do? Have you, have you ever like been like, oh, that's the guy I want to emulate in life, or that's the that's the person that I look up to to chase in business, or? It doesn't happen. anyone on earth that can truthfully answer and say that they look up to a slouch or a lazy piece of shit who doesn't do what they say they're going to do. So when you think of that, that already puts that classification of, of a person in a better stance, right? Uh, culturally, uh, financially, whatever. Then that person sets you on the destination to where you're trying to get to, to get to a level like they are. And so those things are, are like all daily reminders and, and pinpoints of where you're trying to get to, then you're going to keep fucking hustling yourself. Right. But if you set your eyes on someone who goes halfway and then just gives up and, and doesn't finish the task, doesn't give you the output, you're, you're not going to just keep going. No. You're going to be a fucking stooge. Right. So, you know, the other component is let's let's talk about the the time, right? If you do what you say you're going to do when you're going to do it, and you're being you're executing appropriately and giving it excellence, you're probably making less errors, mm -hmm. you're saving money, you're eclipsing time. Like there's the, the benefits. There's yeah. so many more benefits to just doing and being excellent and, and and doing the right thing, doing what you say. It. I mean, this shit goes into perpetuity on all of the upside benefits to it. Yeah. Your point. You go to the gym, feel better, look better, perform better. Right. I mean, I was taught that in middle school. We had fucking private middle school. We had uniforms. Yeah. And instead of us bitching about the uniforms, they taught us that look good, feel good, respond good, act good. Right. Mm -hmm. Be good in class, have good results. And that's always stuck with me in the military. Same shit. Press your fucking uniform. Don't show up looking like a shit bag. Like, let's be on time. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's all true. I mean, how how many millions or billions of dollars a year do you think the military spends on appropriate fucking ways to lead leadership? I mean, they dump billions of dollars a year into how, yeah, to, yeah to teaching people how to be great leaders. Yeah. If those organizations are doing it, it probably means you should do it. And you don't have to spend money to do it. Just get up and fucking, if you say you're going to do something, go do it. Don't let do the it. inner bitch voice win. You know? yeah. I'll so, tell you, personally, guys, here's where I'm at. Okay. This has been the craziest month of my life. I lost my dad. I had my daughter born, okay, last week. I bought two houses. I sold one. I, I added six people to my team. I am moving my office. And there's probably like two or three other things. And I shit you not, this is all this month. Okay. Monday, I am starting phase one intentionally with all this chaos going on. And, the, and I am literally am moving and everybody is starting Monday. And I'm starting phase one. Why am I starting phase one in, in one of the craziest, most chaotic times of my life? Because I truly believe that it will sharpen me enough to help get me through this very challenging period. Okay. It's going to be nonstop. It's been nonstop. I can tell you in the last four or five days, if I have four hours of sleep, that's a lot. I'm going to be doing this starting Monday. Anyone that wants to join can join. I'd love to see you join me on this. 
and I am doing it because I know I have a window to execute on all of these things that I am doing to grow and improve my business. And I have to be as mentally and physically and spiritually sharp as possible. And that's why I'm doing this to give myself an edge through one of the most challenging times of my professional career. So if it works for me, it'll work for you. It's interesting, far. right? Like uh, in those times when you challenge yourself to do something even more, it creates calmness and organization in your life. Yes. Because it forces you to compartmentalize certain things to certain pieces of the day. That's it. So a lot of people are like, man, fuck, man. How do you, dude, you're going to do two fucking workouts and read and do all this other shit, like on top of this shit and your newborn. But yeah, yeah bro. And it's going to keep me from potentially killing people. So yes. there's there's that positive note on it as well, right? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's, yeah, I mean, so it's always been funny. Like, most people challenge themselves the heaviest to do shit way outside their comfort zone in times of chaos. Mm -hmm. I just did a podcast, The Entrepreneur DNA with uh, Justin Colby. And on, on that podcast, we, we talked about, like, chaos to control. Right. And chaos in the in the midst of like being an entrepreneur, right? Starting out when you're the octopus with eight arms and eight hats and one body, right? Yep. And that's chaos. And as you transform into a real business owner, you hire the appropriate people, you seek the right counsel, you hire the right coach, you do these things to then bring it all back to a controlled environment the same concept when the shit's out of whack and out of alignment and things are running off the fucking rails, you know, you need to go back to that controllable space. And for you and for a lot of people like you and me, it's, it's those workout environments, extra workouts, doing whatever, you know, training for an ultra marathon or a 50 K or a hundred mile race. That, that chaos then creates the controlled environment. Right. So yes. it kind of brings everything back. None of it goes away. You just then can compartmentalize it and, and, and handle it better. Yeah. And to your point, I think what happens is when you fill up your schedule like that from, let's say, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., 10 p.m., whatever it looks like, and you're going from task to task to task to task to task, guess what you don't have fucking time to do? Yeah. You don't, well, have, time. Like you don't have time to bitch. You yeah. don't have time to be anxious. You don't have time to be stressed. Okay, you're just going from one to the next to the next and executing, and you're not second guessing anything. And I think that, that the intentional focus, okay, where you can't stress out about shit because it just has to get done, that is a gift. Okay, that is a massive gift to give yourself because you're, you don't have the time to worry. Well, if all you have to do is focus on the thing in front of you, you get it done, and oh, my God, there's another thing. Another workout. Cool. All right, now I have to go do a, a cold punch. Awesome. All right, now I have to get some work done. What are my critical tasks for the day? Right? You're checking off these critical tasks. You're not worried about all the little tiny minutiae or bullshit. All right? And by giving yourself that gift of focus and constantly being all right, on to the next thing and on to the next thing, you're going to get way more done. You're going to find out that you've been wasting a ton of time and you're going to put yourself in the position you deserve to be in. If you really go through all that and do everything the right way with the right intent, it's amazing how much progress you can make in 30 days, guys, or right. 75 days. Or if you're really smart, you keep it going, you know, a hundred day push, right? If you can win more days than you lose, you're going to end up where you need to get to. Stack them. Stack them. Stack and rack. That's it. All right, guys. Listen, you heard it here. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. Thank you for tuning in.